Look who finally got a haircut. Well, hello there, everybody. I'm a freshly quaff photo Dave. That's my boring background. This is Toy Picks, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Photoshop to make your action figure photos grayscale in a way that you're probably not used to. And for my money, it gets really cool results. Now, remember that in the bottom corner there is a QR code for you to scan to get your free action figure photography guide and get you signed up for the Toy Picks newsletter. And stick around to the end of the video where I show you today's Toy Picks photo. It's Turtle Tuesday, and we will be using the same image that I do to show you how to do this grayscale thing, but it's going to be a little bit different. So stick around for that, and then after that, Today's Patreon freebie. Now remember that everything I post on Patreon is free, so go ahead and join the free tier. Or if you want to help steer the Toy Pick ship, you can also join one of the paid tiers. Now, with all that out of the way, let's get to the meat and potatoes of this video. All right, folks, here we go. This is Mikey because it's Turtle Tuesday and. Mikey's my favorite turtle, but this is the image we'll be using so I can show you how I make things grayscale. Now, you can see all this stuff on the right hand side, all these different layers that I have hidden. That's because that's all the work that I did on this photo for today's Toy Picks photo. So we're just going to keep that hidden for now till the end of the video. Haha, <laughs> tease and we'll go from there. Now also the reason I'm showing you this is because I'm gonna go to grayscale and then it's gonna ask me a lot of questions. So the thing that most people probably do when they're trying to make a uh, an image, that was easy for me to say, grayscale is they'll go to image, they'll go to mode, and they'll just go to grayscale. Now because I have all those layers over there, I'm just gonna hit okay, rasterize, there we go, and that's what happens when you just go to grayscale. It's not bad, it's, it's grayscale, it's a black and white photo. Now, I'm going to just get out of that. So I hit Command Z, and it'll take me back to the original image that I was playing with. And now that you've seen the whole picture, we're going to zoom in a bit so you can just see it bigger if you're on, say, a cell phone. Now, the way that you would do this for real, or at least the way that I learned, that I really enjoy and I think it gives you better results, is going to Image and Calculations. And now you'll see here how all that stuff looks, it looks a little black. So, Layer Merged, go down to where on Layer here, it says Layer 0, go to the Merged Layer there as well. And now we've got two red channels selected and we've got the blending mode set to multiply. Now, what I was taught when I was going through a course, I believe the guy, I believe his name was Burt Monroy, and he's one of the people that helped design Photoshop, so he was talking about this stuff and it was really cool to learn from him. Red, the red channel, is kind of your contrast channel. Your green channel is your detail channel and he says your blue channel is basically grain and a bunch of crap so we don't really mess with the blue channel so now we've got red selected multiply obviously is going to be way too dark i like just kind of defaulting to overlay but you can play with any of these and we'll probably play with them while i'm showing you this tutorial anyway so there's overlay and you can see that the contrast between what's going on here is a lot more than what was going on with the grayscale. Now, let's make that top merged. Let's add some detail here, see what we get. All right, so we can see here that we still have a lot more of that contrast than we did with the grayscale, and I think that's really cool. Now, you notice down here below overlay where it's got the 100%, you can do whatever you want there, make it five, and you're kind of back to what grayscale would look like. But it's just another thing you can play with. So we have overlay now. If we do soft light, we get that look. Hard, hard light's harsh, but it's not bad. I kind of like that look. 
But yeah, we've got all that going on. Now if we make the lower part, let's make this green. So it's going to be basically detail over a detail channel over another detail channel. And we've got that going on. So calculations really is just a new way to play to try and get a different kind of look for your black and white images. It's something that isn't so... I think, I think for me, grayscale itself, when you just do that, it's kind of bland. It's kind of just meh. But with this, you get to have a little more fun. And you just play, like, channel there. So I've got the detail channel on the bottom. Another detail channel up top. What happens if I make this the red channel? So I make it so it's a contrast channel. You know? I mean, it just depends on what you want to do. And that's the thing about Photoshop. There are a million ways to get whatever look you want. You could have gone into grayscale. You could have made this a grayscale image. And then you could have played with levels to pull out the whites and maybe darken the blacks. You know, it's all kinds of, all kinds of stuff you can just do just because you can. Oh, yeah, I figured screen would be a little rough. But yeah, that's basically calculations. It's just another way to make things black and white. But for me, I think it's a better way, especially when we're talking about action figure photos, simply because with action figures, you generally think of things that are colorful, that have a lot more contrast to them, unless you're talking things based off of movie properties such as Star Wars, but comic book characters, turtles, all that stuff, they tend to have a lot more contrast in their color, so it's nice to be able to go into something like calculations and make that contrast happen. And in fact, here, let's let's drop red on this second source channel. Yeah, see, there's there's all kinds of stuff. I like it. I like that too. Anyway, that that's basically at this point I'm just playing, but that's pretty much what you're gonna get when you head to calculations. And I truly just think it's a better, more entertaining way to try and make these grayscale images look better. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I use calculations to create a grayscale look for my action figure photography. Now do me a favor and let me know in the comments below if you use Photoshop at all for this kind of stuff, and if you don't, let me know what you do use, because I want to try and make sure that these how-to videos are reaching a lot of people and can help a lot more people. And if you are using Photoshop, have you ever used this method before, or do you usually go to grayscale? It's just a curiosity I have. And now, on to today's Toy Picks Turtle Tuesday photo. Here it is. Now, I told you it was going to be similar. It has basically the same bones as what I showed you earlier because it comes from the same photo. I just added some stuff and made a lot more crazy little tweaks. So what we have here is Mikey dodging bullets, pretty much, or at least moving quickly enough so they're shooting around him. Or maybe he's facing off against stormtroopers and they just can't hit him. I don't know what the deal is, but I thought it would be a fun pick to put together. So, scan the QR code and join the conversation on the X slash Twitter by commenting with your own Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figure photos, because that's what I really care about. I want to see how cool everything you guys are doing ends up looking. And now, with all that said, it is time for today's Patreon freebie. Today's Patreon freebie is another free digital background for you to download that was suggested by Jonathan Childress, one of the patrons on the Toy Picks Patreon. It is a science lab. More specifically, an evil science lab. So put whoever you can think of in there and Make him look even more evil. I was trying to come up with a lot of people that it could use. Obviously, Dr. Mindbender, or you could have a bunch of maybe AIM scientists or something. There's, there's all kinds of figures, I think, that you can make an evil science lab work for when it comes to your background. So, scan that QR code, head over to Patreon, and download it for free, just like you can download everything else on Patreon for free. 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is everything I've got for this one. So as always, thanks a ton for taking the time to check out the video. It is massively appreciated. You know, YouTube, algorithm, and all that stuff. And until next time, have fun and happy snapping. See ya.